preparing for a big local derby. Nick Matthew of Duffield warms up for a showdown with rivals Nottingham. The world number one player is just back from a tournament in the US. He says the game's not just about fitness. It's not just a case of being tough and running around and being determined. You've got to have that real sort of clinical and um, nature, sort of almost like an assassin's nature, if you like. You know, you're just picking that time to strike. And over 100 spectators regularly turn up to watch league games here at Duffield, with some of the world's top competitors in action. It's quite amazing really, it's just a walk down the road and uh, you're, you're watching uh, the, the number one player in the world. You're paying £10 to see a world number one, I don't think in any other sport you can get that, that kind of good deal. It's good to watch their technique and movement and stuff around the court. But team manager Felix Fricksu is frustrated by the sport's exclusion from this year's Olympics. Having uh, the world number one and two as uh, British players would certainly have got us one, maybe two to three gold medals. They might not be competing on an Olympic stage this summer, but playing in front of an appreciative home crowd is just as rewarding. We play in far-flung locations around the world. You know, we've just got back from a big tournament in the States, but it's important to come into the sort of the, the home of squash in clubs like this and, and, and bring the game to, to these people, and you saw how much they appreciated it. Nick won his match, but on the night, Nottingham upset the form book to overcome the league leaders. Paul Bradshaw, East Midlands Today, in Duffield.